At first glance, a praying mantis and a stick insect might seem like close relatives. They both have long, slender bodies, and they're both experts at blending into their surroundings. But looks can be deceiving. These two insects are actually quite different from their diets to their body structures and even their survival strategies. So what are these differences and what makes each one so fascinating in its own way? Stay tuned as we take a deep dive into the amazing lives of the praying mantis and the stick insect here on Bugs, Buzz and Beyond. Let's start with a quick overview of each insect, beginning with the praying mantis. Known for its unique posture and those iconic folded front legs that look like it's praying, the praying mantis is a master of stealth and speed. But don't let the innocent pose fool you. This insect is one of nature's top insect predators, relying on its agility and strength to capture prey. The stick insect, on the other hand, isn't a hunter at all. These plant-eating insects are the true masters of disguise. By resembling twigs and branches, they blend into their environment and avoid detection from predators. In essence, while the mantis is a natural hunter, the stick insect is a natural hider. When it comes to physical features, the praying mantis and the stick insect have some pretty striking differences. The praying mantis has a triangular head with large, forward-facing eyes that give it incredible depth perception, a must for any skilled hunter. Its powerful front legs are lined with sharp spines and are specially adapted for grabbing and holding onto prey. These spiny legs act like built-in weapons, making the mantis incredibly effective at seizing its target and keeping a firm hold. The stick insect, on the other hand, has a totally different body plan. It's built for camouflage, with a long, thin body that often looks exactly like a twig. Its legs are also slender and adapted more for clinging to branches than for capturing prey. Stick insects don't have specialized front legs for hunting. Instead, their limbs help them stay completely still or sway gently in the breeze, mimicking a branch to avoid detection. While the praying mantis is armed and agile, the stick insect is all about staying hidden in plain sight. Next, let's talk about what each insect eats and how they go about getting their meals. Praying mantises are carnivores, meaning they rely on a diet of other animals. They're patient ambush predators, often waiting motionless for their prey to come close before they strike with remarkable speed. Their hunting style is all about precision and timing. Capturing insects and even small reptiles or birds if they're large enough. Mantises use their powerful front legs to grab and immobilize their prey, making them one of the most formidable predators in the insect world. Stick insects are the complete opposite when it comes to food. They are herbivores, so instead of hunting other insects, they feed exclusively on leaves and other plant materials. Stick insects don't need to chase or capture their food. Instead, they take their time nibbling on leaves, typically at night, to avoid detection by predators. Their method of survival isn't about hunting, but rather blending into their environment so they can peacefully feed without drawing attention. Both of these insects use camouflage to survive, but each has its own unique approach. The praying mantis has a subtle color adaptation 
that allows it to blend into its surroundings, often matching the greens or browns of leaves and branches. While mantises rely mainly on their stealth and speed, they also have a neat trick up their sleeve if they feel threatened. Some mantises will spread their legs or wings to make themselves appear larger and scarier, which can intimidate potential predators. The stick insect, however, takes camouflage to an entirely new level. They look exactly like sticks or twigs, and they'll even sway back and forth as if blown by the wind, making them nearly impossible to spot. Some stick insects can shed their limbs to escape a predator's grasp and later regenerate the lost limb, which is an impressive survival mechanism. Others may produce a foul odor to deter would-be predators. In the world of camouflage, stick insects are true masters. Their reproduction strategies are also quite different. Female praying mantises lay eggs in a frothy mass called an uthaca, which hardens and keeps the egg safe until it's time to hatch. This foamy case acts like a little protective fortress for the mantis eggs, guarding them from weather and predators. When they hatch, the young mantises, called nymphs, look like tiny versions of the adults and are ready to start hunting from day one, as they're fully equipped with hunting instincts and agility. Stick insects take a different approach to reproduction. Many species lay eggs that resemble small seeds, which can stay hidden in the leaf litter for months or even a full year before hatching. Some stick insect species can reproduce without a mate in a process known as parthenogenesis, where the females can lay viable eggs without fertilization. When the eggs finally hatch, the young stick insects are already capable of blending into their environment, relying on their twig-like appearance to stay safe from predators. So, if a praying mantis and a stick insect were to cross paths, which one would have the upper hand? In terms of raw power, speed, and agility, the praying mantis is the clear winner. Its predatory skills and specialized limbs make it a formidable hunter. But when it comes to avoiding attention and outsmarting predators, the stick insect's incredible camouflage and its unique defense mechanisms give it the edge. Both are perfectly adapted to their own lifestyles, making them champions in their own right. To sum it up, what really sets the praying mantis and the stick insect apart is how they interact with the world around them. The praying mantis is an efficient, skilled predator that uses agility and strength to hunt. The stick insect, however, is a peaceful plant eater, depending entirely on camouflage and clever defenses to stay safe. Although they may look somewhat alike at first, these two insects play completely different roles in nature, each with its own amazing set of adaptations. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.